Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you the real story of Halloween. How it actually began, from where it came from, why people dress up, why we ask for candy. And I mean, we, I'm 21 and I'm still do that. Yeah, it's my favorite holiday, don't judge me. So, why people do this and why honestly i mean why we have jack-o-lanterns witches bats and also why people say that it's a devil's holiday i mean hot halloween for some people halloween it's equal to the devil but that couldn't be more far from the truth but there is a reason for people to believe that if you want to know keep on watching Now, Halloween is a holiday that is celebrated every single year all around the globe on October 31, the last day of the month. Now, the word Halloween comes from O Hallows If, that means Saints Evening, or in Spanish, El Dia de Todos los Santos. Now, Halloween comes all the way back from medieval times from the Celtics. They celebrated something that is called Samay, Samay, honestly, I don't know how to actually pronounce it, but now this holiday is the celebration of the end of the harvest season that it was on october 31 to november the first it was an all-day holiday partying all night now the customs come from the belief that spirits and demons and evil was walking on earth because of the line that separates the living and the dead will become thinner so they can pass through and be here with us in order to scare them they use costumes if you search for it those costumes were really creepy honestly creepy as <laughs> honestly there's no other word to say it and um, well now today obviously we have evolved a lot but it's halloween dress up as you please but you feel comfortable if you wanna wear a sweater, wear a sweater. You wanna dress up and go all glam, just do it. You may be scared, a spirit, who knows? We will never know. But as we know, in medieval times, Christians took over and kind of ruled everything. So basically almost every holiday today has some Christian influence, for example, Christmas. If you search for it, the real origin of Christmas, it's way too far from what they say today. But that's another story. Halloween passed the day previous to Saint's evening and the day after it was the Soul's Day. And that's how they came with the name All Hallows If. It was like Christmas If, New Year's If. Halloween was just like that but obviously the world evolved and now we know it as halloween by the end of the 12th century the church made these days an obligation and they would ring bells for the souls in the purgatory a whole different perspective of what people were doing on the days of celebrating the end of the harvest season and suddenly we're praying for souls in the purgatory and maybe hell yeah let that sink in now if you want to thank somebody for being able to celebrate halloween you should be thankful for the irish and scottish immigrants of the 19th century that came to america and brought the celebration with them and by the next century it was already mainstream society and everybody was celebrating over time, some symbols came up on the holiday. Um, the jack-o'-lanterns are the most known. They were known first and used as frightening the spirits, but to the folklore of the Irish, it was representing a soul that was between heaven and hell. The second most known tradition in Halloween is a trick-or-treating. This has roots on the medieval traditions and in places like england instead of candy it was coins 
what they give to children but obviously as everything it has evolved to basically singing trick or treat in front of the house and having candy and just moving away to the next one I used to get a lot of candy good old times yes, I need a movie okay now let's move on now the costumes which is probably what almost every single person does like I said previously, they used to do it to scare spirits, but now it's just part of the tradition to just wear a costume, it doesn't really matter. But first it was things like witches, vampires, monsters, this type of characters of the folklore. But over time, things from pop culture came in and now we basically dress up as almost anything you can find. TV series, movies, book characters, the person who is on the other side of the street. I have seen people who dress up as their sisters, um, other members of the family. The options are endless. And it comes to the problem that people is, what I'm going to be this year? People like me who plans Halloween one year ahead and there's the other type of people who wants to find a good costume a week before or even days before i suggest you just maybe a month not a week it's gonna be hell honestly um also the for me at least the process it truly depends of what i'm going to do this year i'm going to stay home but i still i'm going to dress up since i love halloween so much and i have as a hobby doing cosplays so basically i have a lot of things at my house but years previously when i had my college dorms parties which i miss i used to dress up thinking how hot it was going to be because the place it was they didn't have air condition it was hard i did crawl the bill last year Honestly, at one point I wanted to take out that coat and just put it in a trash can. It's way too heavy. I won the first place, but it was way too heavy. Honestly, just think about that type of details when you're thinking of choosing a costume. Things that will save you one day. You're welcome. Now, other activity that is really popular are haunted houses. This didn't become popular until the 1950s in America, but it started in the 1930s. And obviously, it has evolved a lot. We even have some controversy with haunted houses. As an example, it's the Kimi Minor. I don't know if you have heard or you have seen those videos, but if you if you have a weak stomach don't even try it honestly it's brutal and honestly it's it's disturbing because it looks more like a torture than just a haunted house i don't even know how it's even legal to keep operating honestly i, I don't even know but if you want to search for it but if you like i said you have a weak stomach please stay away from that don't even try now the good thing what christian people believe that this is a devil's worship holiday over the years christians has been concerned about the pagan roots that the holiday has the occultism satanism satan <sighs> satan satanic 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 satan now the now the real question is why people believe that this is a devil's worship holiday probably the first thing is the reason is the fact that people dress up as a devil and they praise him praise satan but it's also the fact of the roots of the holiday because it was pagan obviously if you know a little about history you know about when the church used to kill witches and pagans and wiccans and they are basically against these people so obviously the concerns are still here today but the halloween ho holiday 
it doesn't have nothing to be with the devil we don't worship the devil we don't do we don't do anything evil i mean honestly sometimes i'm, I'm just thinking why why people believe it's evil to go out dress up if you're a kid ask for a candy if you're an adult going to a party i mean teenagers and adults go to parties all the time the only difference is that you're wearing a costume you're not in your normal party clothes but for me it still is kind of hard to seriously think that this could be evil in some kind of way well this is all for today thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments which is your favorite halloween tradition for me definitely is costumes and watching horror movies I mean, obviously, I'm a horror freak, but besides that, the, because I watch horror every single day of the year, but for me, the costumes, honestly, but for me, Halloween, it's kind of every single day, it's just that on, Hall on October, I get crazy, but thank you so much for watching, please stay safe, enjoy Halloween, but stay safe, and I'm going to be seeing you next week, bye!